Alright, hi everybody, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am a mother of two beautiful little girls and I am a natural redhead if you are new to my channel and I am this series I am doing a wet and wild series on you know the pop art craze pop art craze and I'm trying to use um, all products that are wet and wild today I used two that were not and that's only for um, staying purposes and my mascara because I am I have not been happy with the mascara from wet and wild so I'm sorry you can't like everything but <clears throat> anyway so if you want to see this look and the look that I created then keep watching thanks all right, so we're going in. I'm not doing a, I'm not doing a full face. I'm gonna do my two eyes first, and then we'll do the full face only because I'm gonna use tape on my face, and you kind of want to see that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. Let me see if I can get a little closer. That's as close as I'm gonna be able to get. I'm gonna move in. So I have my tape. This is just regular like masking tape. So I'm just gonna go in under my eye and place it there okay and I'm gonna do the same for the other side so last night um, well first I'll put down the uh, wet n wild Fergie primer eye primer this is fairly decent um, you know I like it and today I'm not gonna use a wet n wild uh, mascara because um, because I don't want to. I'm going to use my Lash Blast. CoverGirl Lash Blast on my, my lid. Um, 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 um. So today, it is Thursday. One more day closer to Friday. Today is day six of my little adventure. So far, I'm happy with everything that I'm doing. Um, Today is your 15 minutes aren't up. I did put a little preview on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I tried this look out last night so it wouldn't take me as long. So I'm just going in with painted purple and I'm just putting that all over my lid. And yeah. Um, and since I did this look last night, I'm hoping it won't take as long. <laughs> Because I know you guys don't want to watch long videos. But I guess the truth is, is makeup can take a long time if you're not really... I don't want to say good at it, because even if you're good, it can take a long time for perfection. I feel like I'm going to have like amazing wrinkles today. <laughs> I guess this is how plastic surgery people feel. What? So we're going in with your 15 minutes aren't up. This is the yellow, purple, pink, and I am going in with the little uh, shadow thing that comes with shadow, like, applicator that comes in the thing. So I'm just going to, you know, kind of like not get in the yellow, of course, just the purple. <laughs> and then we're just going to kind of pat that all over the lid, right on top of that painted purple, and see how vibrant it gets. Um... This is a really, really nice purple. I think this could compare to some MAC purples. In terms of, like, my shade colors and, you know, like, experimenting with colors and stuff like that. So, I am going to be using the black from the Threes of Party. I used this palette yesterday. Um, and the only reason I'm doing that, I mean, you could use any black you have. I was just trying to keep it in the same family of, like, you know, if you're going to pick these palettes up and... I mean, there's other blacks in other Wet n Wild palettes that you can certainly use. So I would, you know, you could use whatever you wanted, really. So I'm just trying to extend this down past because when you rip the tape off, it's going to look really cool and gradient. Um, so I'm just trying to get it to come off the ends. And then you're going to also blend that out with some, some black. Alrighty, so here we go. So next I'm going to take, this is a um, Urban Decay brush. You can take any crease brush and I'm going to put that in the pink. Now these are very pigmented so you just want to go very lightly and you're going lightly into the crease. Um, you know, just kind of, it's kind of like a gradient thing. So you're going to start low and then get 
get wider at the end. Um, yeah, I think this one so far might be my favorite one. Yeah, I'm really, really in love with this. Like, last night I was so happy. All right, so I'm just taking a regular brush, dabbing it in the yellow. You could use any brush you want. You could use a smaller brush, whatever. And I'm just going to kind of just lightly go over that top. So it's just a hint. And I know you can't even see it, but in person you can, you can really see it. It's just a hint of yellow. It's like a rainbow. Why is a rainbow on my eyes? Okay, so now we're going to go in with that black and some black liner. Um, sorry, my back's hurting. I'm going in with the, not that one. Where did I put it? Oh, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild. Um, it's a black, black pencil. So we're going to line. And then I guess after I take the tape off, I will... So you want to have a fairly um, skinny line, and then I'll fast forward through this part. That. And now I'm going to fix it up with the Three's a Party. I'm going to use this black right here. And the item, use a pencil brush. Yeah. Alright, this is a round crease from a uh, crown brush. It's an IB116. I do really like their brushes, so we're just going to kind of go in and just stamp it and I'm just trying to get a gradient look. If you follow me on Pinterest, this is my Pinterest look. I pinned this the other day, of course, on purpose. So that way does that look the same? Does it look the same? It looks kind of weird right now, but I promise you it's gonna look awesome. And then I'm just gonna blend because I don't want it to be as harsh. You kind of want it to there. All right. And then what I'm going to do is same brush from yesterday. I did clean it. It's the um, it's just a craft brush from the store. This is a low Cornell. Um, you can really use any. Elf has good ones. Uh, eyes, lips, and face. That is from Target, or some WalMarts are selling them now. And I'm just going to stamp it on top of that liner to just set it. Okay, so that's it. Um, that's all you have to do. So I'm going to take the purple. And since that Wet n Wild brush, or the Wet n Wild, I wish this was a Wet n Wild brush. Um, this is a the other side of the Urban Decay one. If you have it, if you don't have it, just use. So I'm just going to take the tape off. And look at that. Isn't that cool? My eyes are already starting to water. Wow. Hello face. So I didn't do my face on purpose so I could catch all the fallout and see all the uh, the stuff that it caught on the tape. I don't know if you can. So you don't want that. I mean you can really choose to clean your line up or whatever but I didn't particularly want to. So I'm just going to um, try and clean the bottom. I'm going to stamp it with this black and then I'm going to go over it with the purple on the bottom. So I'm just going to stamp under and make this look a little bit more dramatic. And then I'm taking that brush and I'm just going to kind of tap it in the purple. You could use a pencil brush as well. You could use whatever you wanted to. Um, it would be no big deal. And I'm just going right underneath that purple or the black to kind of like kind of smudge it, smoke it out, whatever you want to call it. And that's it. So what I'm going to do with whatever is left on this brush, I'm just going to kind of blend the corner of that line 
you know, just to have it a little bit blended. But I am completely satisfied with the results. So that is your 15 minutes are up. And the Three's a Party, I use these two palettes. Um, so I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna do my mascara. Okay, so I am back with my full face. So basically to recap what I've used um, on my face, I used the Taj Mauve Hall. It's a Wet n Wild lipstick. I got this for 69 cents. They're on sale at um, Rite Aid this week. So it is a gorgeous, like, pink. And there it is right there. Um, and, and I use Ticket to Brazil as my blush bronzer and my highlight is Reserve Your Cabana. Both of these are quite lovely. Um, Reserve Your Cabana is in one of my um, high-end favorite. I mean <laughs> it is a high-end for me. No I'm kidding. Um, and then the Ticket to Brazil. These are some of my favorite things from Wet n Wild. Um, I am really 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 happy with this look. Um, yeah, so anyway, so follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Keek. I have Keek. Pinterest. Pinterest is my go-to, man. I get a lot of my ideas from there, a lot of my ideas from other YouTubers. Um, I really am just trying to see if um, some of these things can be made to work with people with red hair. So I hope you like it. I hope you, you know, try it out. I think it looks awesome. Um, yeah, so... I'll see you in my next video. The next one is day seven, and it's hard being the it girl. So I'm going to look up some ideas for that today, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.